Welcome back. And now I will show you or talk to you about VO groups. So first, we're going to want to go to the VO group tab. We're going to want to type in a name for our VO group. In this case, molecular spheres. We're going to hit the plus button to create it and go to manage. We're going to add our two M spheres to our group. Now, what this is doing here is we are basically saying that these two spheres can function as each other for the purposes of the interactions with the object. Okay, and we're going to want to make it so that there are hitboxes that are available between each. Now, I happen to know which ones are on here, but you can quickly check by going to the Snap 2 property, hitting the drop, or selecting one of the spheres, and putting it as the target object, and you can see that it has these top, bot, left, right, front, and back connections. You don't need to use all of them, but whichever ones you do use, um, you are able to type in here and make them available to everyone. So that would be top connection, top connection, left connection, right connection. Connection and back connection. Okay, and with that, we can now utilize all of those hitboxes on each of these. Now, next, we are going to need to make one more group because we want all objects that are spawned by this to fit within this group for molecular connections. So, molecular connections. We're going to manage it, and we're just going to add the M connection to here. Now it also has two hitboxes on it, so if I go to M connection and type in here, it has top of connector and bottom of connector. So if I look at this, top of connector and bottom of connector. And with that, I have done everything within the VO group here that I need to do, and Last, we'll be going to the global triggers and setting it so that we are able to connect all of these objects together. So first, we're going to do the connection. So this would just be connector to molecule. Top. And all you would do is go to snap. And unlike before, we were doing using virtual objects. We're going to go to virtual object group. Select the VO group, and you can see our two options here of connections versus spheres. Go to the hitbox, the top, and the virtual object. We want to do virtual object group, and the molecular spheres. Okay. And I'm just going to quickly go to add node. Connector to molecule bot. Or actually, I should inverse this. Molecule to connector top. My mistake. Okay. Same deal. Where's the virtual object group? The molecular connections. In this case, the bottom of the connector. The virtual object group. Molecular spheres. Now, for the actual simulation, I am not going to be showing the highlight snap zones. But if you are curious, I, you can have this here so you can see where the connection points are uh, between them. But they are at the top of this cylinder here and at the bottom. And for the molecular spheres, they are in six cardinal directions of top, bot, left, right, front, and back. Um, I will keep them on for my initial demonstration, but I will want them removed for the final version. And last will be the six connections that need to allow the connectors to connect to the molecular spheres. That would be connector to molecule. And I'm just going to copy this because I'm going to need to do this six times. I'm going to go up top, pop, left, Right. 
front. And we are going to repeat the process of what we did before. We're going to create a snap thing or snap event. Go to virtual object group, six virtual group. And this time we're going to do molecular spheres. And we're going to choose the appropriate one based off of what I've named it. In this case, top connection, virtual object group, and the connections. I'm going to go a little bit quicker this time, but it's the same idea where I select the spheres, go to the relevant connection, virtual object group, and the connections. And we're just going to repeat this for all of the connections on the spheres, making sure to just match everything between it and where we're at. So on the right. Okay, and you can just see the only thing that is different between any of these is which connection we're going with. And the last one of the back with our connections here. So again, I'm going to keep this highlight snap zone on for all of these just for a demonstration so you can see where all these connections are. But I personally find them distracting when going through this course or simulation myself. So I'm going to be removing them for the actual thing, but now this is the complete version of the simulation except for that. So you can see here, uh, based off of our starting assets, I have these connectors, which I'm able to put in to those locations and connect as such. Manipulate my molecule with them like that. I'm able to spawn more of these and connect them together at the location of the blue balls you see here. Putting them in. However, there is one part that we need to do with to finish this, because right now uh, we do not have the orientation of our uh, connectors set up appropriately for the front, back, and left and right. Because currently it will just keep it at that orientation, which is not correct. So we need to do one other thing, which is go into our global triggers. And I'm going to remove these highlights and snap zones now as I go through these. So top and bot do not need to be adjusted. But for the connector molecule to the left, we need to do a rotation offset. I believe this will be by 90 in the X. And if it's not 90 in the X, it'll be 90 in the Z. It'll become apparent very quickly once we launch the simulation and try and connect the pieces together. Whether I was correct on which orientation these needed to be rotated along. So with that, we're going to hit save. And go through our simulation one last time to see if I got the orientations correctly. OK, and now without the distractions of those, so I did not get the orientation correct, which is unfortunate. So let's just go back, quickly swap those orientations. Uh, left, so you need to be 90 in the Z, 90 in the Z, 90 in the X. and 90 in the X. All right. So now, when I attach these pieces together based off of the orientation, you can see that it rotates appropriately based on the direction I connect it to. So if I put 
put it over there, it'll rotate like that, until I have all the directions covered. And we will detach either molecule type to the end, whether it is white or red. as it's completed, whatever I like, or I can take it apart piece by piece, whatever I choose. It's up to me. I just need to make sure I grab my initial location where I began my assembly if I want to in there, or I can grab it based off of its pieces and begin taking it apart. That's up to me. All right. And thus concludes my demonstration of how you can create this utilizing the web tools. Thank you so much for your time, and I hope that this was helpful. You can escape out of full mode or quit whenever you feel like. And you're back in the web browser. All right, thank you so much. Have a good rest of your day.